Kazakhstan's ruling Nurotan Party held its 18th Congress in Astana. The meeting chaired by Kazakh President and Nurotan Party leader Nur Sultan Nazarbayev was attended by 1,179 delegates. The party's first ever Congress was held 20 years ago to lay the foundation for the party, which developed into Kazakhstan's largest and most powerful political organization. President Nazarbayev provided a summary of the party's work performed in 20 years. He also mentioned that the government government allocated more than 45 percent of funds of the Republican budget for the social sector. The Kazakh president instructed the government officials to complete the educational reforms and introduce the three-language policy. He informed the Congress that there will be an establishment of centers to monitor the implementation of the state programs in Kazakhstan. <laughs> In historical terms, 20 years is a short time period, but it can be compared to an epoch for us. As you all know, the 2000s and the juncture of the centuries was a challenging period, which required making right and quick decisions. At that time, we had to adopt bold and important reforms to strengthen our independence and build a strong country. Otherwise, Kazakhstan would have been left behind in the world's development towards progress. With these purposes in mind, the Nurotan Party justified the people's confidence turning into a unique political power capable of ensuring consistent development. At the Congress, the party adopted a political program titled The Society of Well-Being, 10 Goals of the Decade until 2030. The program outlines the party's social development priorities. In the previous documents, the political party aimed to improve the economic development, while in the upcoming 20 years, the Nurotan Party will focus on improving the people's well-being. <laughs> Agrarians from Akmola region will export their products to the United Arab Emirates. The region and the country signed bilateral cooperation agreements. According to the members of the Regional Chamber of Entrepreneurs of Kazakhstan, today the UAE shows interest in Kazakh flour, wheat, meat and milk. Akmola region's trade mission office will be opened in the UAE to develop trade relations. At the moment, the Akmola region completely covers its need for eggs for over 100 percent. Therefore, today there is the possibility of nearly 250 to 300 million eggs to be exported to the UAE. These are only eggs for consumption. There is also an opportunity in exporting meat products and they are also highly interested in our organic products. In 2017, the volume of foreign trade turnover between the Akmola region and the UAE increased by almost five times compared to the same period in 2016. In 2018, this figure grew by 61 percent. Today, the Akmola region successfully exports domestic-made flour to the UAE. The Arabs highlights that Kazakh products have a number of advantages, such as environment-friendly, organic and of high quality. Kyrgyzstan is raising its export potential. The country intends to increase the sale of meat products abroad. A large local company annually exports 56 tons of meat to Iran. Negotiations continue with Qatar, Kuwait, China and Russia. We are working with Russia. Recently, representatives of Russia's Service for Veterinary and Phytosanitary Surveillance conducted an audit. Now we are carrying out design and construction works based on the remarks given by the Service for Veterinary and Phytosanitary Surveillance in accordance with the requirements of technical regulations of the Customs Union. According to experts' observation, the local livestock population and the number of people involved in farming is increasing. The livestock population is growing annually. As a consequence, meat production is also increasing. If we take the figures of 2018, the increase was recorded at over 403,000 tons of meat compared with 2017. The main consumer is our population.
Last year, Kyrgyzstan has officially exported 1,500 tons of meat of young lamb only to Iran and food byproducts to Uzbekistan and China. Tajikistan and Russia are actively strengthening cooperation in research, education and humanitarian areas. To date, the countries implement projects aimed at developing the youth potential. Dushanbe hosted a seminar on students' engagement in business development. The project is being implemented as part of the Business Eurasia International Youth School based on the office of the Lomonosov Moscow State University in Dushanbe. The seminar participants presented their business project ideas and raised the interests of the event organizers. The main goal of the project is to provide students and young people in Tajikistan with basic knowledge and business skills. Nowadays, there is a trend of youth entrepreneurship development in Tajikistan and Russia. In this regard, this project meets all the requirements. If an entrepreneur needs to start a business, then he or she has to have basic business skills. For example, a business person should be aware of paperwork when creating the project and presenting it to investors. Education is an important area of cooperation between Dushanbe and Moscow. Russia is planning to build five schools in Tajikistan at the expense of the federal budget. To date, the young people of Tajikistan have an opportunity to win scholarships to study in Russian universities. This year, 630 scholarships have been allocated for Tajikistan students who may receive free education in Russian universities. To date, the application process for the Russian universities continues. Cardiac surgeons in Pavlodar region performed a unique surgical operation on a 58-year-old patient. The professional surgeons conducted the new method of surgical chiroablation, which they learned in Turkey. Pavlodar is the only destination in Kazakhstan and Asia where the complicated procedure on the open heart is performed. The new technique is just starting to be introduced in the European countries. The surgical operation is performed on patients with heart rate disorders and complications. To minimize harm to patients, surgeons freeze the heart sections to minus 160 degrees during the surgical procedure. After the operation, the heart rate is restored. According to experts, 20% of the registered patients have heart rate disorder. The operation is unique. During the procedure, we use argon gas. The cooled gas is delivered through electrodes to freeze the heart. As a result, certain parts of the lungs lose their electrical conductivity through the heart after which the heartbeat is normalized. The operation is learned several years ago. Meanwhile, local surgeons performed more than 4,000 surgeries in the Regional Cardiac Surgery Center in a year. The doctors mastered more than 50 innovative surgical techniques so far. The first robot-assisted surgical procedure on kidneys was performed in Kazakhstan. According to doctors, kidneys with malignant tumors had to be removed from patients based on the old technique. The new robot-assisted method allows doctors to operate only on the damaged sections of the kidney. So far, over 50 patients have been treated with the new procedure. The surgical method helps minimize the risk of damaging other organs and allow patients to recover faster. The robot-assisted method is applied in urology, general surgery and gynecology. Currently, we are planning to perform more operations of this kind. These procedures are available in our country and for our people. As we all know, previously, patients had to go to South Korea, Israel and Europe to treat such illnesses. I think that with the development of the robot-assisted technologies, our patients will be able to undergo complicated procedures in Kazakhstan. <laughs> Local surgeons are learning the new surgical procedures. This year, the local hospitals are planning to open a training center. Robot-assisted operations training facilities are currently available in the United States and Italy.
Famous polyglot David Mosop visited Kazakhstan to deliver masterclasses for Kazakh linguists. The foreign expert is one of the world's top 10 translators. David is fluent in nine languages, including English, Russian, Bulgarian, French, Macedonian, Turkish, Serbian, Croatian and Polish. The translator is planning to learn the Kazakh language as well. I have 40 years of experience and I continue learning. I learned Turkish language in about two months and can speak the language. Due to the similarity with the Kazakh language, I can understand the main idea of the Kazakh text but cannot speak the language. I will do my best to learn Kazakh by my next visit. David Mosop admitted that he had never had special abilities in learning languages. The outstanding linguist had a great desire to understand others, which is the main reason for his achievements. David Mosop is one of the world's best linguists and one of the top 10 literary translators in the world. Unfortunately, Kazakhstan universities do not have literary translation programs at the moment. For some reason, the literary translation class was removed from our educational curricula, but we want to encourage our universities and professors to introduce the literary translation class to teach literary specialists in Kazakhstan. There is nothing more beautiful than a horse. Horses are wonderful animals. Kashmir is very obedient. David Mosop spends his free time in a horse stable. The famous translator has three horses. The linguist has been involved in horseback riding for 25 years, including 15 years of coaching. You need to sit lower in the saddle and make a straight line from head to toes. Kazakh horseback riders invited the renowned linguist to visit Kazakhstan and to give at least one equestrian sports class. Despite the packed agenda, David couldn't say no to his Kazakh colleagues and accepted the invitation. The European expert specializes in the Olympic equestrian sports but heard a lot about the Kazakh traditional equestrian sports. I know Kokpar, but it's not for me. I understand that every nation has its own sports. The English people have horseback hunting. It is also not for me. My favorite equestrian sport is dressage. It is an individual sport for the rider and the horse. Kokpar involved many other horses and riders, and you cannot think about yourself and the horse. You need to think about everyone, and you distract your attention from the horse. David Mosop also had a meeting with the teachers and students of Kazakhstan's Eurasian National University. The polyglot admitted that he hoped to come back to Kazakhstan again soon. Nikita Amoskin is a winner of the 100 New Faces of Kazakhstan project. The young man is an acrobat with multiple titles, such as a two-time Asia champion and a world championship in acrobatic gymnastics. The 19-year-old athlete from Karagandi has been performing with 16-year-old Anastasia Dolganyuk for nine years. They won more than 50 medals. The pair is known for their accurate performance and artistic presentation. Nikita believes that their achievements resulted from their continuous practice. Acrobats have to develop flexibility and balance. The acrobats practice for several hours a day, six days a week. I'm very interested in acrobatic gymnastics. The sport suits my personality well, despite the challenges. Nikita's parents brought him to acrobatic gymnastics class at nine years old to improve his health. The athlete was also involved in Greco-Roman wrestling. Nikita takes his own He is very 
Nikita's main qualities are persistence and ambitions. However, he didn't have these qualities when he started practicing. This is the results of his hard work and dedication. Nikita and Anastasia are currently preparing for international competitions. The young acrobats are planning to join the Cirque du Soleil and later train Kazakh athletes after completion of their careers. Kazakh libraries are stepping up efforts to create a single library of the Turkic-speaking countries. The initiative proposed by President Nazarbayev in the seven facets of the Great Step article was supported by the National Academic Library of Kazakhstan. The managers of the library allocated a special hall for Turkic literature. The collection of the Turkic works in the library includes about 5,000 unique and rare books, which will soon be presented in the online version. <laughs> Национальная академическая библиотека на данный период провела уже достаточно серьезную, большую работу по подготовке для того, чтобы создать единое цифровое пространство. The National Academy Library of Kazakhstan performed a profound work and implemented a set of measures to prepare for the establishment of the single digital collection of books of the Turkic countries. Our library can currently provide 5,000 books on the Turkic sciences in the Kazakh, Russian and other Turkic languages. After we develop and complete the concept, we will commence the incredibly interesting work involving the efforts of the national libraries of the Turkic countries aimed at the establishment of a single digital collection of Turkic books. Библиотек национальных библиотек и туркоязычных стран, чтобы создать вот такое единое большое мощное цифровое пространство. The Turkology Hall contains a wide range of books, including dictionaries, reference books, scientific and fiction works. There are also books on philosophy, history, culture and art of the Turkic people, including a separate section for the works by Central Asian authors. Мы постарались собрать литературу стран Центральной Азии и Тюркского мира. Здесь представлены... We did our best to collect books of the Central Asian and Turkic countries in our library. We currently own books in Mongolian, Bashkir, Balkar, Kyrgyz, Turkmen and Turkish languages. Most of them are unique and special books which will be helpful for the library users. There are 26 known Turkic languages. We are currently negotiating with other national libraries to receive books in their languages for the collection of of our library. I believe that we will put together a unique collection. Нашего зала книги на их языках. Я думаю, что мы соберем уникальную коллекцию. Scientific works by outstanding Turkologist Vasily Radlov are among the rare and valuable publications in the library. The Atlas of Mongolian Antiquities, dated back to 1892, provides the results of the scientists' profound studies and also contains images of the ancient Turkic runic inscriptions. The unique book is preserved by the library staff as a priceless item. Our museum has a collection of books published before 1939 and 1940. In total, there are more than 13,000 books in our collection of rare books, including more than 1,500 manuscripts. We also republish old books. In our efforts to revive Turkology, we handle the books in a scientific way. We do our best to both preserve and present the books in the best way possible to our readers. The library collection is consistently growing to provide new exclusive books for the readers, including printed publications, audio and video media, online books, microfiches and books for visually impaired people. Asana's Botanic Garden produced the first bananas and oranges in their greenhouse. One of the three banana cultivars growing in the greenhouse facility is able to bear fruits. In the spring, the garden managers are planning to organize tours for the residents and visitors of Asana. They are planning to demonstrate the garden, treat the visitors to the exotic fruits and also to promote and sell the plants. There are more than 2,000 varieties of plants in the facility. The garden is provided with the latest technological solutions such as a climate control system to maintain the required temperature for the plants.